Hi there, this is Benny and today I'm going to show you how you can use Metastop to test a technical indicator or a trading idea to see whether it works. One of the earliest indicators that I've learned was the MACD indicator or the MACD indicator as they call it. Uh, from what I've learned, uh, we actually get a buy signal when the MACD or the red line over here crosses above the blue line which is this trigger line, uh, we get a buy signal and when it crosses below its blue line, we get a sell signal. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just do some markings on the chart to show you where those buy and sell signals are. So we get a first buy signal over here from the chart uh, when the red line crosses above the blue line. So we get a buy signal somewhere over here. And as the uh, MACD crosses below the blue line, we get a sell signal. So we get a sell signal somewhere over here. And moving forward, we get another buy signal over here when the MACD goes above the blue line. And another sell when we get the... Um, red line crosses below the blue line over here. So these are the few trades that we are looking on the chart. So we get another buy signal here when the red cross above the blue and sell when it crosses below the red. So what happens here is that we have a signal based on the MACD indicator. The first trade here seems to be like a winning trade. The second one seems to be like a winning trade as well. The third one probably we're going to break even. But the good thing is that we are not in any position when the prices fall. So it looks like a good system, isn't it? But I will not know until I have really tested it uh, with more details. And instead of me trying to do this manually on the chart and try to calculate each profit and loss for every single trade, I can actually use the Metastock software to test the system automatically. So I'm going to start the system tester over here. I'm going to start a new simulation. Uh, use the MACD indicator I mean, I'm going to select the stock that I've just shown you on the chart and this is 250 days of testing um, when I click next I can actually set some of the settings on the uh, trading simulation over here uh, there are many settings that you can set to make it as real as possible so from here I set an equity that starts at $10,000 and for every single trade I would use all of the money and when I go on the next page I also get the next simulation you can actually set more uh, settings on this trading simulation like you know when you get a buy signal to buy and you can you can only buy on the next day because the market has already closed when you get a signal at the end of the day so you can set those kind of things to start a simulation so this is what i have done for this simulation as well so i'm going to take a start and it only takes less than a minute in fact just a few seconds to get the results from here you get a performance summary uh, the red bar here shows that the market is not profitable uh, when you're using the MACD indicator. So we have 13 trades over here uh, on the past 250 days. There are 5 winning trades but 8 losses. So that gives you a net loss of $267 or 2.67% uh, losses in the past 250 period. I can click on to look at more details. And if I am able to look at the details, I'm able to uh, actually identify the strengths and also weaknesses for this particular trading system so that I can improve them later. Uh, you can also plot this on the chart. Uh, you know, you can get the buy and sell signals on the chart to show you uh, when you started your equity here at $10,000 250 days ago. Um, this is the performance of your equity. It went as high as $12,500. So you actually made a $2,500 profit, but the um, indicator went bad once the uh, price started to fall. And you can see the equity started to fall. Uh, for a good trading system, if you want to build one, the uh, equity chart over here should continue to increase as time goes by and you should not see any uh, long dips and this shows that there are some weaknesses on this indicator. So imagine if you go and learn um, any indicators from any workshops or seminars, you can actually test them on your Metastock to see whether it really works and this will help you a lot of time to find out whether that particular indicator works and we just do not follow what is being taught and this will also actually save you a lot of money in trading if you are trading blindly by just following what people say so this is one of the many features on metastock you can use to improve your trading skills and knowledge so this is all we have for this video thank you for watching i'll see you again in the next video till then happy trading